next on my sniper. Yeah. Big bad wolf in the building. 601, baby. Southside. Shit like WWF. Fuck a motherfucking never take out. Step in the scene. I sent you feel like in a hard picture. Put me down. I'm right there. Did it like the Holy Christian. That right. He's the day to go. But the wolf ain't got no kind of diction. Suck me. Go bully. The best on it. Make the Lord. If they go, make all of them. It's all of it. I'm bully. Facts. It was bully. Then it was shorty day. Do it like a time. I better do it. Lay. If you fart a gun. Man, I do it again. Ross made it. Do it. This is Judy. Get it. This is hate. This is any. This is too slack. Eating jealous. These hoes right. Man, dick like some taxi. Your rappers just knock off. And still wanna flex it. If you're trying to be fake. At least don't be plastic. Heading in it. Bars. My flow like a spaceship. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can take this offensive. Please don't call me. But you can't leave a message. I'm burning this shit down. There's no fire exit. Moscow. I know you think I'm crazy. big rocks. But I feel her. She's so crazy. The way of water connects.
Thank you. think I'm crazy. Big rocks. But I feel her.
think I'm crazy. But I feel her. I hear her heartbeat. She's so close.
I hear her heart.
I feel her. I hear her heartbeat. She's so close. So what does her heartbeat sound like? I feel her. I hear her heartbeat. She's so close. I feel her. I hear her heartbeat. She's so close. So what does her heartbeat sound like?
She's so close.
crazy. Dad, I know you think I'm crazy. on my sniper Southside on the side best of the best aligned up on the
Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I wanted to go over something that I haven't really seen done before in really in Pro Tools or any other DAW, and that is scoring with with real instruments. So I've seen a ton of videos about MIDI scoring and um, VST orchestra plugins and all these huge epic, you know, strings and brass and percussion and libraries from Spitfire and just all over like there's a ton of music out there that is done in that style the like kind of fake orchestra style but the way I approach composing is a little different I like getting my hands on real instruments and playing them and leaving things maybe a little imperfect to me that adds a lot of of texture to a score that you can't get with these really clean sample libraries and I'm not trying to knock that style of composition there's uh, tons of TV shows that use sample libraries and everything, but my purpose when I do a score is trying to do something that is unique. And most of my work is done in audio post-production, so when I do get a chance to score something, I really try to make sure it's a little bit outside the box and uses some real instruments. So we're going to be doing this in Pro Tools. We're going to be using a Korg Minilog. I've got a Roland TR6S, which is a little drum machine. I've got an Arturia Micro Brute. I've got some drums over here, uh, electric guitar, bass guitar. I've got some acoustic guitars, percussion. I'm not really sure what all I'm going to use. We're just going to start from scratch and see what we get. So I'm going to put on my headphones. That way the mic doesn't pick up bleed from my monitors and we'll just get to it. So in Pro Tools here, I've already named this project the name of the queue. I've got the name of the film and then 1M23 paying respects. So the 1M23, this project is all in one video file, so they're all gonna start with one, but if you had a film that was say cut into six reels, then like if you have a queue in reel five, it would be 5M and then the number of the queue there. That just helps you organize, uh, especially when you're talking with people, you know, going over notes and stuff. It's nice to have numbers. And then I'll also put the name of the queue, kind of my, composer name for it of what the scene is or you know the vibe of of the cue or whatever it's just a descriptor so that it's not just a number I've already got some basic tracks set up here um, they're not super organized they're not color-coded yet but when you're composing stuff you know it's going to be based on your own instruments whether they're VSTs or real instruments so this is going to be very specific to what you play what you have available to you and what instruments I have templates for different types of scores that I do, um, but it's so dependent on what you have on your system, I'm not going to go through that because you really should be making your own. Uh, but I've got some just basic tracks I can record with a few plugins on there, uh, some drums, drums, you know, take up a decent amount of mics. I've got six mics on my kit, but those are in a folder and acoustic guitar, electric guitar, bass guitar, which I'll be recording DI uh, and then a couple synths. But I don't have any video right now. On my main counter here, this is set to time code. I'll switch this back to bars and beats once I start working. But for now, I need to get the video track into Pro Tools. So Shift, Option, Command, I. When you start composing on a film, you'll want to ask for a video file. But you'll also ideally want to ask for three different stems from the editor. One dialogue, which will give you all the production sound and if they have any ADR voiceover. The second one would be the temp score they have. So all the cues that they've plugged in to show you intent and kind of what the director is going after and mood and all that on a separate stem. And then if they have any sound effects in the cut already, you want that on a third stem. That way you can listen to the music stem, but then also mute it so that you can you know, make your own ideas about how you want the scene to play out and the instruments you want to use. We're going to add the dialogue and sound effects stem. We're just going to use stereo for this from the session start. All right, just to double check, dialogue looks lined up. Let me make sure I label this dialogue guide, sound effects guide. I'm going to get rid of the one with the music. Let's look at the scene coming out of this. <clears throat>
Where are you going? I'm here, aren't I? The fuck I come to pay respects, everyone leaves? I've been mourning two motherfuckers. I gotta go to work. I hope you're in a better place than here. So now that we've watched the scene and soaked it in, there's a ton of space for music, so we'll have to figure out a plan of attack. First thing I'm going to do is look for some sync points. These are moments where either the story shifts, or if there's a significant cut, or some kind of character action that motivates, you know, starting the queue, changing the queue, and having any pivot points on my timeline before I even lay down a single note. And syncing up with either certain cuts or actions or like, you know, character moments can really elevate a scene. The first spot we have is this cut from the previous scene in their apartment to the cemetery. So what I'm going to do is zoom in here and just go frame by frame and find right there. That's the frame where the cut happens. And I'll just drop a marker and call it cut. Now this is where the scene starts, but I think it's actually going to be better to start the queue back here. So we'll figure out where to start the queue exactly later. There's a, a shift point that I need to keep in mind here where Alec lands in the scene with his brother. And what's interesting about that is Alec might be expecting them to, you know, pat him on the shoulder or give him a hug. This isn't going to be a super hard sync point, but I'm just going to mark this as a shift. And then they walk out. He's still focused on them. The fuck I come to pay respects, everyone leaves. I've been mourning two motherfuckers. So that moment up to here, where he says, I'm in mourning too, is between him, his girlfriend, and his brother. So all that's kind of one beat. This section can probably stand on its own without too much and then right around here he shifts back i've been mourning two motherfuckers to focus on his mom if you wanted a hard sync point you could probably uh you know have it be the cut but if you watch i'll make this video a little bigger so you can see if you watch closely his eyes turn down to the headstone right there so that's the point I'm going to use. We're going to call this shift two. And now the scene becomes more about his mother. It's not a very happy place. They've had a lot of issues with, you know, family stuff and crime and drugs. So he's thinking maybe mom's took the right path here and he conked out. And then he walks away. So... I think what we'll want to do is maybe lay out here. And by a layout, what I mean is the music that's going on, uh, it can thin out a little bit and maybe just come down to a, one instrument or one note. And then we cut to the wide shot for his walkout. We'll probably want some kind of resolution around here. Let's just see. 